What is going on, team? Welcome to another episode of the Thrive Forever Fit Show. I'm your host, as always, Jay Nixon. And as always, pumped to be here. Excited you're here. Excited we're here together. It's what life's all about, doing it together, building relationships, communicating, helping each other get from one place to the next. And today's episode is all about that. Before I jump in, I want to make a special announcement. If you're listening to this right now, you have got to go to my free Facebook group, Wellness Lab Launchpad, and join. Actually, just go to thriveforeverfit.com. That's my website. Scroll down. You'll see a box that says Join Wellness Lab. It's 100% free. Right now, guys, as we speak, starting Monday, November the 16th, I am doing a free training that is titled Food Fight. Today's episode, today's podcast is all about your relationship with food. And one of the reasons I decided to do this free training in my, in my Facebook group is because we are in a fight with food right now. And most of us are losing the fight. Let's be honest. Most of us have a dysfunctional relationship with, th- with food. I would, even grow, I, would, I would even go as far to say an abusive relationship with food by the way we think about food and by the way we treat food and allow food to treat us. Food has a control over most of us in some way, shape, or form. So get yourself into the wellness lab now. I don't care if you're listening to this on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I'm recording the entire training so you can watch it um, anytime this week. Just get your butt over there. You deserve it. But today we're going to talk about some of the, the points that I'm going to cover I'm going to cover them in more detail in the training, but your relationship with food. Right now, if I drew on a piece of paper and I said zero was a dysfunctional, abusive relationship with food, and then I put a 10 on the other side of the page, and I said that is a thriving relationship with food, and five right down the middle was like, "Uh, it's okay, where would you be? What number would you fall into on that graph? Most people, guys, I'm going to be honest with you, most people fall closer to the dysfunctional, abusive state than they do the thriving, fit, fantastic, loving food, food food is fuel state of being. And what I want to do, the reason I'm doing this podcast today, the reason I'm doing the food fight, the free training in the wellness lab is to help you repair, help you nourish, help you cultivate your relationship with food so that food can be your friend. Food does not need to be the enemy. We have villainized food. Some people talk about food as if it is a monster that lives in the cupboard and in the refrigerator and and, and all over the place for that matter. And that monster has complete control over you. You're both terrified of it and in love with it. You have a relationship with it that is so codependent that neither one of you can survive without each other. Well, that's just not true, guys. Your relationship with food needs to be that of a friend, someone you love, someone you cherish, someone that fuels you instead of fails you, right? But a lot of times we get in these relationships where food is actually failing us. That's what obesity is really all about. Food has failed you. Your relationship with food has gotten you into that place that you're in right now, and you don't have to get crazy. You don't have to go into deprivation. You don't have to go into starvation. All you simply have to do is repair your relationship with food. Now, let's just talk about this as if food was a real person. How would you do that? You'd start to pay attention. You'd start to communicate. You'd start to listen right? You'd communicate with the food. And I'm not saying have a talk with your salad. What I'm saying is when you ingest that salad, when you eat that donut, when you have the ice cream, when you eat the pizza, your food, the food is communicating with your body and your body communicates with you telling you how it received that particular thing that you just put inside of it. Your body will let you know, I like that. I don't like that. And if we, if your body doesn't like that, Don't continue to put it inside of your body. That's where the disruptive, dysfunctional, abusive properties and principles come from. So food is talking to you all the time. It's communicating with you, listening to your body, right? If we want to develop a deeper relationship with a human being, what's the most most important thing we could do? 
We can listen to that person. We can empathize with that person. And then we can communicate positively and powerfully with that person. What if you treated food the exact same way? What if you listened to the food and how it made your body feel? Like, you know, look, I'll put it to you this, to this. You know if hanging out with that group of friends is going to bring you, right? If they're party friends, you know it's going to be a rager. You know you're going to get drunk. You're going to end up sleeping face down on somebody's couch, right? If it's your church friends, you know you're going to hear the gospel. You're probably going to sing hallelujah. You're probably going to read some scripture, right? Food's the same way. You know the food and the outcome it's going to bring you before you ever eat it. You know the outcome of eating an entire pizza before you ever eat the pizza, do you not? You also know the outcome of eating a salad before you eat the salad. So that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about repairing a relationship. I'm not saying you can't eat pizza. I'm not telling you not to hang out with the fun crew. Everybody loves the fun crew. I'm not telling you to only hang out with the church crew, right? And that might be a little boring from time to time. You made a little spice in there, right? You can have both. It's not about starvation or deprivation. It's about repairing your relationship, your view, how you think about how you use food. Most of us use food as a failure mechanism instead of a fueling mechanism. So if you think about it from that perspective, you guys know me, I love analogies, right? I love perspective. I love looking at things differently. I love rearranging the, the context to hopefully give you a different view of how to think about things so that it'll register in your brain. If I simply say to you this, don't eat that. You're like, well, I've tried that, bro. That doesn't work. Like, I love pizza, Jay. I'm sorry. I just love it. So if I don't figure out a way for you to have pizza in your relationship, in your food level relationship, what's going to happen? You're going to sneak behind my back. You're going to eat the pizza anyway, right? That's a dysfunctional relationship if you have to sneak around and do it. That's why I don't even like the word cheat meal. I think that creates a bad, first of all, it's a bad vocabulary. It's a bad energy. It's a bad environment for food. There's no such thing as a cheat meal. Cheating, cheating means that you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing. I call it a reward meal for myself. If I'm going to have a, if I'm going to have a food that I normally don't eat, it's something that's not really in the day-to-day -day programming of how I fuel myself, then I call that a reward meal. Well, okay, I'm here. I love pizza. I love this chocolate chip cookie. I love this. I love that. And I build that into my life so that I'm not revolving around starvation and deprivation because I don't care who you are. The strongest, most willpower, savage person on the planet, if they love something enough and you take it away from them, they will find a way to get it. Agreed? So that's what the food fight's all about, guys. That's what repairing your relationship with food is all about. I want you to be friends with food. I want you to be able to eat any food on the planet that you love and desire. Now, now we're gonna have to build that into a beautiful lifestyle, right? We can't eat pizza every single day, three meals a day, and then throw some nachos in as a snack. We know that will fail us. We know that is a failing formula. But do we have to eradicate pizza and nachos and donuts and chips and crackers and everything from our lives completely? Absolutely not. You cannot live like that, right? That's not living. But what it's all about, it's about creating a beautiful lifestyle where everything you love fits into the confines of that lifestyle. So that's why you're going to love the food fight. I am going to debunk a lot of the myths in the wellness and weight loss world. Let's be honest with you. How many of you guys are confused? How many of you feel overwhelmed? How many of you have even said the words, I don't even know what to eat? Most people, when they come to me, they're like, Jay, I have no clue what to eat. And I'm like, that's not true. You've just been inundated and overwhelmed with a bunch of mistruths and lies that you're confused. And when you get confused, the confused mind says no. And what the confused mind says no to is, I don't give a shit. I'm going to eat whatever, whenever, however, and with whoever. Because that's what the confused mind does. What I want to do is I want to diminish that confusion. I want to make this simple for you. 
I want to debunk the myths and the lies and the marketing gurus that tell you, eat this and you'll lose this. You can lose 27 pounds in 11 minutes. Like the, the, what's being put out to you guys right now is overwhelmingly obnoxious. I mean, my clients are getting text messages that with misspelled grammar saying, take this product that was on all the shark tanks and blah, 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 blah. And you'll lose 29. It was like something like 29 pounds in 20 days. My client sent it to me. She's like, look at this nonsense, right? The detoxes, the pills, the potions, the lotions, the, the, all the things. It's just overwhelming. And it's been overwhelming for far too long. And that's why I'm doing all of these free trainings. That's why I'm doing the food fight in the wellness lab. That's why I'm talking about it on my podcast. I'm sick of watching you suffer. I'm sick of watching you be confused and overwhelmed and not know what to do. It's not fair. It's a 4.5, let's, can we call it, it's a $5 trillion industry. The wellness industry, guys, that's fitness, that's nutrition, that's, that's the, all the vitamins and the things and the stuffs. It's a $5 trillion global business. Think about that for a second. $5 trillion. And we as a society, as humans, have never been more unhealthy, never been more overweight, never been more confused, never been more overwhelmed. I've got a problem with that. I hope you do too. And if you do, that's, where you, that's why you need to get into the Wellness Lab Launchpad. 100% free group. This training I'm going to do, the week-long training, 100% free. Listen to me, 100% free. Why would you not gather information with no bias? It's going to be unbelievable. I'm, I am so excited about it. I wish it was today. I'm going to record the trainings, guys. If you can't watch them live, they're going to be recorded. There's going to be a full Q&A section. You can ask me anything about food, anything you want to know. I will answer all of your questions. You will not leave this free training with an unanswered question. And I believe that's the success in life. All challenges and obstacles and adversities are, are unanswered questions. That's it. If you look at life and you look at life's challenges and obstacles as simply a question that you don't have the answer to, then all you have to do is seek the answer. And there's somebody out there that has it. If it's food related, if it's fitness related, if it's wellness related, you can bet your ass I probably got the answer or I know somebody who does, and I'm going to give it to you for free. So you don't have to scroll through Facebook anymore and be like, gosh, I wonder if this guru sponsored ad, take this pill potion lotion that says I can lose 30 pounds in 30 minutes. I wonder if they're telling me the truth. You'll never have to ask that question again. You'll never have to say, I don't know what to do again. I'm going to decrease all the confusion for you guys. I'm going to take away the overwhelm. I'm going to eliminate the chaos. Sound pretty kick-ass, right? I'm excited about it. All right, here's what I need you to do. Go to thriveforeverfit.com, scroll down, giant orange box. You're just going to say, join the free Wellness Lab Launchpad. Click the button, request access, get your... You know why I make you request access? Because this isn't a place or a space for marketers and people selling you junk and crap. You never have to worry about a thing in this group. It is the most supportive, most beautiful group of human beings. They're going to hold you accountable, support you, help you. They're in the same place you are. And when you get a bunch of people in the same place, thriving and living with the same energy and awesomeness, can I tell you what that brings? More energy, more awesomeness. That's what this group is all about. You never have to worry about somebody lying to you, giving you a mistruth, leading you astray, overwhelming you, adding to your chaos, adding to your confusion. This group is a safe place with beautiful humans that you're going to give you all the answers you need to get you as fit and as healthy and as well off as you need to be, as you want to be, as you deserve to be. So get yourself over there, thriveforeverfit.com, scroll down, request access. If you're already a member, guys, mark your calendar. November 16th, we're rocking and rolling. The food fight, we've got amazing guides you're going to be able to follow. This is going to be unbelievable. Guys, we're, we're in the middle of Thanksgiving. We've got Thanksgiving coming up in a matter of weeks. After that, we've got Christmas. After that, we've got New Year's. Most people, the average weight gain between November 1st and December 31st is between five and 14 pounds. Nobody wants to gain five pounds. Nobody damn sure wants to gain 14 pounds in the next two months. Month and a half now, you might've already gained some. 
Let's put the brakes on that. Let's thrive through the holidays. Let's get through the holidays blowing and going, not feeling deprived, not being overwhelmed, not starving ourselves, not taking crazy crappy pills and lotions and potions, just making smart, intelligent decisions related to food by repairing that relationship. Can you tell how excited I am? I can't even shut up. I said I was going to go like 10 minutes ago. Okay, I'm going to go. I love you. I'll see you in the wellness lab. I'll see you in the food fight. And here's my promise. We're going to win the fight. All right, guys. Love you. See you in a bit.